This is 2018, it's a powerful uh, meeting. We have prayed for it, and we are glad that at least there are people that will come and receive what God has prepared for you. I will not preach until you sleep because I know you're tired, so I'll make sure that I don't, I don't want you to give me a signal that you will be sad and watch it to Kalali. No. Because I know you traveled, some of you traveled, and some of those that are from here, some are in the worship team, so they are here also very early, they have been here. And uh, notwithstanding, I'm also been here, and I preached three services. Then I left Ren to Kaasukari. I have a friend of mine who went to be with the Lord, a canon. But I could not get parking there. Thank God I didn't get a parking. And I felt I should come back because we had another function. And from that function, we have this function. But I can assure you, when I go to sleep, I'll sleep like a baby. Because when you're tired, then I could have struggled. You in a kujaga to me. So we blessed the name of the Lord. But I want to say one or two things. I do some two, three, four declarations. And we declare this conference 2018 officially open. <coughs> Romans 15 and verse number 13. Romans 15 and verse number 13 says, Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace. So that you are believing, so that in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. If I read the same in the message translation, it says, May the God of green hope fill you up with joy, fill you up with peace, so that your believing leaves, filled with the life giving energy of the Holy Spirit, will brim over with hope. Our Heavenly Father, a few moments that we look at your word, I pray that you will energize it and energize me and use me as a vessel because I'm ready to be used of you. May the meditation of my heart and the words of my mouth be acceptable both to you and to my listeners in Jesus' name. Amen. I, I have chosen to speak to you about expectation. Expectation. Expectations concerning oneself, expectation concerning one's future, expectation concerning one personal hopes and ambitions. The person who chooses to live to the full will need to nurture a heart that is filled with God's given expectations. Our expectations are based on the God of hope. Our confidence is not in the chance or good fortune, mali kwa mali, or kiweka hii utapotea, you know, roto. But in the true and living God, we don't walk by chance, we walk by faith. Our expectation is on the hope of God. Our confidence is in that God. Not some kakara, kababra, something that is going to happen along the way. Because you know what, and we, we have discovered that as students, even if you pray so much, you have to write. The exam, there is no Holy Ghost that will come pick your pen and answer all the questions for you. So, some of you that prayed and thought the pen will come and write, discovered that you have to write. Yes, I believe in God, but God will allow me, give me the grace through the writing. The writing is my part. It's like that part, the Bible says that God knows those parts and he has provided for them. But a bird has to leave the nest so that it goes to pick the food which God has already provided. Expectation, our expectations then are based on the God of hope. Our God is the God of hope. And don't allow anybody to tell you there are no jobs for those that go to school. There is a difference between someone who has gone to school and someone that has not gone to school. So you are blessed if you go to school. But you are even more blessed if you work hard onto your studies. I told people in service here, uh, of a girl that went to school with my daughter, Joy. And they had a wonderful principal that really, that principal, I don't know whether there were some forces that were using her. Looking at these girls 
and with a B plus and a B, she confessed to them that you'll become nothing. But I have news for you. High school, B, C plus, whatever, you can push it until you get what they call first class honors. Because this week that girl called me and I want to pray for her. Actually, she was flying out to the U.S. You know, so I was praying for her. She was flying out her tour to the U.S. and coming back in September for the graduation. But this is what she told me. And she was with the tears. Because she was saying, the teacher told me. But I had to change it around. Because I have hope in God. My future is in God, not with another person. And this lady passed with first class honor in architecture. I'm telling you, God is able to do much more than we think or even imagine. And don't allow people to determine your future. Your future is safer in the hands of God. Our confidence is not on chance. Our confidence is based on the God of hope. Our confidence is not, is not on things that we see with our physical eyes. Our confidence is with God who can give us what people don't see. If you've been disappointed by placing your expectation on the fallible persons or people, as good as that person may be, they will discourage some of us. You know, even people who promise you this and promise that, some don't know how to fulfill it. They only know how to promise, to promise, to promise, to promise. You know, me, I promise a lot, and I feel guilty when I don't fulfill the promise. But I promise it. I like giving people hope. But I've discovered empty hopes, you know, just empty words without some action. It, it hurts the heart. It becomes, the heart becomes cold towards many things. So placing our expectation on people or situation or circumstance, even sometimes on education, it can be very, very frustrating. But our faith and trust is on God who gives us power to, to, to make wealth. He gives us understanding and knowledge. That is God that we are going to trust in. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So in other words, when I'm discouraged and I feel hopeless and I feel angry, I need to know it's because I have placed my hope on people. And for example, I could be a very good father. And I tell myself I am a good father. But it is my children who know how good a father is. Nobody else can know it. But I'll try to do my best. But even my best cannot beat God, the desire that God has for us as his children. In other words, we lift up our hearts during this uh, time together. We lift our hearts and eyes and place our expectation in God of hope. Because he never leaves you nor forsakes you. He loves you at all times and his words abide forever. He is trustworthy. Amen. You see, the message up there is, has started promoting some of you. If by chance you drive that kind of a vehicle, amen, amen, one of these days, isn't it? But whoever is driving that car, you can go and attend to your vehicle. Maybe you left the doors open. So we, we want to define expectation. And we have to look at expectation, first of all, from the scriptures. Then we'll do some declaration of a few things, and then I'll be done. Definition of expectation. From the scriptures, starting from the verse that we read, now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. It is one of expectation. I want to place my expectation on God. I want to believe God on Friday. This is what God will have done to me. This is the direction that I'm going that by Friday, I will expect this kind of life, to, this thing to have happened into me. I'm here, not just to be here. There is change that I'm calling God to bring change to me. In the book of Psalms 20 and verse number 4, the book of Psalms 20 and verse number 4 says, May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose, expectation, the desire that you have, and our prayer that God will grant that to you, the desire that you have according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. 
Psalms 37 and verse number 4 says, Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Proverbs 13 and verse 12, Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when the desire comes, it is a tree of life. Expectation, expectation. But with expectation being defined, we need to pray so that those expectations can come to pass. When I was little, when I was in primary school and high school, you know, I thought I would be a powerful engineer. Engineer, can you imagine? Engineer. Engineer. Tell your neighbor, engineer. But a few things I did not want. I never prepared myself well for engineering. I never studied hard for engineering. I never did the courses that helped me to become an engineer. So even if I pray and I pray hard, I couldn't. So some of us, you expect something, but the direction you're going is the opposite. It might not come to pass, but as I walk in the same direction, I prepare myself. Two weeks ago, I met someone who came to my office and he was telling me of this, um, this, this parent whose boy, while in class six, I don't know why he loved mom. Nani wako kishagi uko kandara, uko kangima, uko kijijini. But I think he just, Mangu, Mangu, Mangu High School, Mangu High School. He just loved Mangu High School. And he told his father, take me to Mangu. I want to go to Mangu. Classic. So he was taken to Mangu High School. And he went and told the principal, when I finish class 8, I want to come to Mangu. And the principal was very kind. He says, let this guy feel Mangu. Let him feel what Mangu is. So a prefect was called. Take him to classes. Let him sit and hear the teachers teach. Take him to the dining. Let him eat. Take him to the dormitory and finally take him to the prefect's rooms. That boy was feeling so great. He actually entered into a junk airplane. They have a junk airplane. But when he sat there, you know, and you know, he would feel one day pilot. One day, you know, he will be a pilot. So finally he went back to the principal and said, I have enjoyed it and I'm coming here. So the principal told him, to come here, you know how much marks you need? And the boy says, I know, 400. And the principal said, if you get 400 and they don't even call you to man, come, you have a place. Now what that made was a motivation to the guy from Kangema. He worked hard. He worked hard. He knew why he was working hard. Then he got 413 and was not called from Mangu High School. But he knew, I have a promise. So he carried his papers, went to Mangu and told the teacher, I am here. Remember me, two and a half years ago I was here when I was in class six. You told me if I have 400, you will receive me. Here I am and I'm not going anywhere else. So the boy is in Mangu High School at the moment. Now he wants to become a pilot. Now, that's another story. So when he went to Mango as a form one, he was told by the principal, do you know what you need if you want to become a pilot? And he says, I know. Then he was told, work towards that direction. I don't know. The story ended there. Finally, it happened. The guy is still in the school. Then I asked, but the point was, determination of a boy in class six, you know, I, I used to tell the, the, the alumni of Cornerstone Academy when I used to be the, the chairman of the board. And I would tell the parents when I'm praying for them here. Parents, if your child wants to go to Kenya High or Mang or Alliance, take them. Let them walk around. Let them step all over the place. After all, it's a school like any other. And there is no principal that can hinder them. So you can imagine. I took Joy to Kenya High. 
We walked around, so it's a very good school. When Nyambura had done it, I also took her to Kenya High. We went around. They wanted to go to Kenya High. But you know, I had also prepared them. You remember the story that I give you here? I normally say every school has a sign. And it's only seen by people who are determined. It is written, University of your choice. So it doesn't matter where the school is. It is written, the university of your choice. So all what I need, wherever, is determination. Determination. So I will delight myself in the Lord, and he shall give me the desires of my heart. But hope deferred makes the heart sick. But when the desire comes, it's the tree of life. I know that boy is bubbling with the joy. So expectation, expectation. We don't want to define it, but we need to pray towards it. To have a strong desire and be filled with anticipation and confidence in obtaining what is hoped for and what is expected. We need to keep on putting those things together. You know, when, when, when you are at this age, did you know you can become anything? We, we, there is a lady, a PS, a lady PS, who was in the Sunday school here. And when that, that girl was growing around here, her character, people looked at her character and they did not like her character. So God sometimes can use anyone. People did not. But you see, character with no character, determination, that lady has gone places. She has charted her course, and you can chart your course. You can put your desire into prayer, and pray that God will bring the desires to an expected end. Blessed be the name of the Lord. To have a strong desire, and be filled with anticipation and confidence in obtaining what is hoped for, and what is expected. In other words, the foundation of expectation is desire. Desiring. Desiring. You know, desiring. Desiring. And that desire. And I was telling people in church this morning that it doesn't matter the time that it has taken before it comes to pass. It will come to pass. It will come to pass. All what you need is to keep on focusing yourself to what God has laid in your heart as a as a deposit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The foundation of expectation is our desire. So I want to pray. I want to pray and we will do a few declarations, maybe two, three, four, and then I will declare this conga man officially open. So the kind of prayer that I'm praying for you is that will tell the Lord, Lord, I believe you. I believe you are a good. And you decide to release into my life wonderful, unimaginable, miraculous, great, and mighty things. I want to believe that God is, has no problem in releasing those things to you. In other words, Lord, I believe you are a good and you decide to release into my life wonderful, unimaginable, miraculous, great, and mighty things. And therefore, Lord, I pray with large expectation by the power of the Holy Spirit, enlarge my vision, increase my faith, secure my future. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That's the kind of prayer that I believe that you are good and you desire to release into my life wonderful, unimaginable, miraculous, great and mighty things. And today I pray with a large expectation by the power of the Holy Spirit, enlarge my vision, increase my faith, secure my future. Our future is secure in God. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It is secure in the Lord. You see, declarations are good. Because there is much power in the words we speak. The words that 
we speak. What we say today creates our tomorrow. Creates our tomorrow. It is in the power of the time. What I want to become, I'll start confessing it. I'll start believing it. I'll start walking, to, walking towards it. And I'll believe it in my heart. What we say today creates our tomorrow. If we want a healthy and a prosperous future, then we need to use wisdom and speak words that bring positive results because our future depends on it. Sasa ukianza kusema niende to to a kesegeseke. I'm useless. I am like the dust. Friends, you're going to be that. But I'm not. I'm highly favored and flavored. I'm wonderfully made. You know, those words, you know, I'm, I'm walking like a prince or a princess. And you're not looking for the opinions of others. You know, because there are some that look at you, they have nothing good to say about you. But whether you say it or not, I am good and I am blessed. And I will confess it. You see, that girl was taught by the principle, you will become nothing. And she leaves the high school with a B and finally she gets first class honors. Right now she's working for a month in the U.S. because of disturbing the skies. May the Lord help some of us to disturb the skies. Amen. It's not what they tell you. you. You don't become what they say. It's what you believe in yourself. Me, I'm you. Actually, some of us look at our parents and we want to be worse than our parents. I refuse to be worse than my father. It ends there. Lack and need are moving into what God wants me to become. And you know that's a kind of prayer that you need to start praying for yourself. You look, you look at what your, 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 your father has. You know somebody called Joy Austin? Yes. His father was John. And when he died, just before he died, Joel tells his father, if I become a pastor, me, I cannot pastor a small church like this one. That's called faith. I'm going beyond you. You are my father, I'll go beyond you. Now he has a stadium. If you go to Houston and you want to go to that church, you need binoculars to see the preacher because it is a stadium. Unless you see on the screen, you can binoculars. Now I'm wondering, I'm speaking this so that my son is in the house. I'm I'm speaking this so that my son in the house. And then they wonder, Why did you do that? Why did you Eh? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. We speak words that bring positive results because our future depends on it. Depends on it. Depends on it. Depends on it. You know, I normally tell young people when I was in high school, when I was in high school, especially the period when I was going to be chased because of lack of fees, 20 shillings. Don't you mean the reason why I got the fees in the Kwakido? I'm a PG and I got 20 pounds. That's why you have to go and get a kid and pay 20 pounds. Can you imagine? Now, the cost. Father, the fees, where's the opportunity? At that time, I was I was still preaching. We in the Kwakido, eaten grand. Eat and run. Amen. So one time, ni mepereka market wangari kwa airport wa meenda na mindi merudi machakos. Ni kaangalia hiyo ndege ya meigia huyo danda. Ni kaanza kusema. Wana. Siku moja. Ni taigia. Alafu ni kakuta nandugu mwikini. It's good to look for people who have the same thing. Na ya karibu. Akaanza kusema hii takuwa kiwanya ya matatu. Tutakuwa tukienda. Vile tunataka tunarudi. Do you know? I even 
don't remember the last time people took me to the airport. Maybe it was 1990 when the elders here took me to the airport. And I'm saying that you can start believing for your future now. Now, kuna msazi atakone ya kijicho. Me, my children, let them prosper. Some of them started driving very early. Na sisiki vibaya ati. Kwa jeni kidogo mukai me akafote, ini mpate gani. Apana, drive it when you can. Eh? Kwanza wa Amerika, so unadrive wa kwa me akasigistini. Kwa ni Kenya, iwe zifika pali. Watu wakifika itini, wanaweza tu kuedesha mauti. Ama wakigraduate, mama ma, wa ilimu, tunawanunulia gani. Ie tunampatia fukuo. Hey. It can happen, but for it to happen, there must be desire that we cultivate and we pursue it in the name of the Lord, refusing people to label us. Nobody should label me. So to declare means the following. It is to make known formally or officially. Formally or officially. So when I declare that I'm going to relocate from Zimmerman to this place, you are not telling your parents you don't like what they are, where they are living. You are only telling them, Dad, you know what? Me naishi mudaika. Mudaika. Naishi mudaika. Na sayo hata una kazi madu uko shuli. Lakini umeanza confession. Because confession is going to give you possession as you start confessing. It brings possession. And as you, the more you confess, that's why it's good to confess good things. I used to have a, a Christian brother who was the school captain. And he was bright. Have you ever had a school captain who is bright? He was bright. Ile ya kiku ili kapisa. Yani haumushiki. Hashikiki. Nimoto wakote ya bari. Sasa ukua na makosa alikuwa kikuwa bevi. Nita kuchapa na nikuombe na tuende darasani na nikushide. Sema amen. <laughs> It, it is to declare what you want known. And he started declaring those things. Left high school, went into law, left law, went into heaven. You know, you can leave law, you go to heaven. So every time I would invite him to preach here, I would see those words. Nita kushida. Nita kuchapa. Tuende derasani. Tena ni kushide. Sema amen. You formally, officially declare it. That I am blessed and highly favored of the Lord. Because that helps you to cancel whatever people say about you. Two, about declare, what declaring means. It is to state emphatically or authoritatively it is to affirm I'm trying to say that I am trying to declare that I will be blessed during this conference and nothing can stop it I have come, traveled, paid then God will have to speak to me then there must be change in my spirit I affirm it I say it with authority in the name of the Lord number three about declaring and it is good for us to be declaring things to ourselves is to reveal or make manifest is to show forth you know I normally tell people this if for example you want to be a principal of a university, a college or a high school and you are burning the school are you sure you really want to be a principal and you are burning it so if you take care of it, then it means you, you are even thinking, if you became the principal, you do better than the principal that is there. So I normally say, if I get into a vehicle and you're giving me a lift, I behave well. Because I'm declaring within my heart, he, in a young, in Jesus' name. Even na kwambia, unakari nzuri, sana. Na kule ndani nasema, kama buwana hape kubariki wewe, na gari nzuri, hata mimi, anaweza ni bariki na gari nzuri. Kwa hivyo nitafunga mlango pole pole, sita vunja. 
I learned that they had one brother who was in the U.S. He called his father because his father was not feeling well. But his father could not leave <coughs> here to go to the U.S. So he knew the best way to do is to trick the father that I'm also coming. Nakuja. So he sent his younger brother, Pesa, at a foot of plot, new shamba, ya ekakada. Ndugu wa katafuta, lakini ya katafuta shamba mbovu. Ya ni pesa nyingi ya nakula, shamba mba uwezi panda kitu, mawe juu kwa machangarawa. Rafa haka mambia ndugu yake, jenga nyumba zuri ya bedroom ine. Haka tumia mawe inaitago reject, na simiti ya mawe waishiki. Haka jenga kikitu ki, hopeless. Ndugu yake haka kuja. Haka mambia nyumba ulijenga wapi wakaenda na baba yake. Mwai baba nimekuja kuchukua tuende Amerika. Sasa tutaenda. Baba yake badu alikuwa akirisist. Lakini alikubali. Si wakaenda wakaona nyumba. Hiyo nyumba inaonekana kama inataka kuanguka na nimpi. Alafu ndugu waka mambia hiyo nyumba nilitaka ujenge ni yako. E, hiyo ni nyumba yako. Na hiyo shamba ni yako. <laughs> Akaanza kulia machozi. I'm saying you have to behave like you own it yes. so that you can behave well. You have no idea maybe somebody wants to give it to you. Ati niyo share hiyo shati. Harafu naifanya hivi vibayo. Harafu naweza kuja aseme. Hiyo shati ni yako. Nekupa hiyo shati. Ama nakutuma umunulie kiatu. Unatafta kiatu kimbovu unamulete. Ukisha mulete na kumbia. Hiyo kiatu by the way. So tunabaka na pamoja ye. Hiyo ikuwa ya. I want to do well. I want to I want to do well. I want it to manifest and show out what I want to become. I'm, I was saying all that so that when we declare the four things that we are going to declare, you will know why you are declaring them and you have faith in yourself. And the whole of this time you keep on declaring certain things for yourself. Utakuwa bubiri ya kiubiri, akinja kumaliza, umesha declare kakitu kwa kwa. Kile ya mesema, ume declare kwa kwa. You know, you say something about yourself and you go say, that's for me. You declare it in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Tumekubalia. Saza tusima. We declare four, five things, four things. And they are all tied together. And that is the desire of my heart for you during this conference. And I want you first to listen to what I have written. Then after a while, we are going to do it all of us together. Because if we believe this, then we can do it together. Listen to this. I will continually magnify the Lord because he has pleasure in my success. Do you believe that God has pleasure for your success? Do you believe? Then say this after me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare I will continually magnify the Lord because he has pleasure in my success in Jesus name soak that one in you see God God, God desires you to prosper Hana Shida Hana Shida Hana Shida Amen so continually magnify the Lord and try to pick some things when the preacher is speaking and declare them to yourself secondly I seek the Lord with all my heart and he makes me to prosper. Do you desire that God will make you to prosper? If whatever area you want God to prosper you, then this is also for you. Let's say together, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I seek the Lord with all my heart and he makes me to prosper. In Jesus' name, amen. Seek him during this time because he wants you to prosper. God wants you to prosper. The third one, we will do only four. God delights to make me a profitable servant. Do you want God to make you a profitable servant? Then if, it's the, if that is what you want, then know that God delights to make you. God delights to make you a profitable servant. I want to declare and decree. Let's say together, I want to declare and decree. 
that God delights in me to make me a profitable servant in Jesus' name. Amen. Then finally, God's workings in my life are excellent and superior. The working of God in my life, in your life, it's excellent and superior. Do you believe it is excellent? Yes. Do you believe that God has wonderful plans for you? Yes. Then I decree, let's say together, I decree, I decree. God's working in my life. In my life. They, are they are excellent and superior. And superior. In, Jesus in Jesus' name, let's lift up our hands and tell the Lord to fulfill the desires of our heart during this time in the name of Jesus. Whatever desire you have, let God know about it. Because God is going to bring those desires to come to pass on Friday. And on Saturday as you leave, you will live a different person in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to bless every one of you. I want to bless you with good understanding that your heart will open itself up. That God will deposit seeds of excellence, seeds of superiority, seeds of success in your spirit. In the name of Jesus, seeds of servanthood, in the name of Jesus, that by the time we leave this conference, the Lord would have ministered to us in a very powerful way. For this we ask in Jesus' name. And everybody say, Amen. Amen.